So come into child pose on your mat with your bottom on your heels and your forehead on the floor and your arms alongside your feet, palms turned up. So we'll first practice some rabbit pose, bringing the weight onto the top of the head, stretching the neck a little bit gently, taking the bottom up towards the sky and the thighs vertical and just moving forwards and backwards, sliding the backs of the hands forward. And you can even do this with the arms behind you, interlink the fingers on the buttocks, come up to the top of the head and stretch the arms up and maybe even overhead, very gently coming down. This might be your headstand practice. If you're just working towards having some weight on the top of your head and really liberating the shoulder blades and resting in child. Pressing yourself back up, come into dolphin position with your buttocks and your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your elbows and your elbows shoulder width apart, interlinking the fingers but keeping the little fingers liberated so that they don't get crushed. Exhaling, moving the chin forward over the thumbs and inhaling, bringing the hips back and the forehead to the floor. Just make sure that the neck gets a really good rest on your way back and you can really stretch out the arms and shoulders as you come forward. Keep the belly tucked in towards the spine the whole way through. So exhaling, you're moving forward and inhaling, you're moving back. And if you want to make this a little bit stronger, then tuck the toes under, press down into the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, and the sides of the hands. Straighten the legs, lift the bottom straight up, and do the same thing. Exhaling, you're moving the chin forward past the thumbs and the hips forward. Inhaling, you're coming back. But allow the head to rest. Every time you come back and inhale, rest the top of the head on the floor. Keep the belly tucked in towards the spine. And when you're ready, drop the knees. And you could rest in child, or you can come back into a different kind of dolphin where the forearms are parallel, shoulders above the elbows, walking the feet forward, lifting the hips up high. You can come even higher, maybe with the knees bent, but the hips higher over the shoulders. And just maintaining that position breathing deeply and then resting in child pose. So that shoulder strengthening exercises, build up upper body strength. Maybe that's your headstand practice for today. And then rolling gently up, we can move into the next stage. Should you wish to, come to the same position, hips over knees, elbows underneath the shoulders, interlink the fingers, but this time widen out the palms, bring the top of the head on towards the floor, tuck the toes under, lift the bottom up, draw the shoulders back away from the ears, press down with the elbows and forearms so the head is hovering off the floor. We practice walking in and walking out to try and really build up upper body strength, pressing into the floor, raising the hips over the shoulders. You can press one foot into the buttock and then the other, and then finding gravity with the hips over the shoulders and the feet tucked into the bottom. Next stage, keep the heels into the bottom, knees up to the sky, and then finally feet up to the sky in full headstand practice. If you can hold headstand for about three minutes, you may want to do some variations. Otherwise, coming down in reverse, heels into the bottom, knees into the chest, gently placing the toes on the floor, dropping down onto the knees, bottom on the heels, and resting in child pose once again. Maybe liberating the neck a little bit from side to side. Make sure you stay in child pose for a period of time, then slowly rolling up and coming to sit on the heels in Vajrasana.